How to Mine Bitcoin on a PC in 2023 At present, the value of one Bitcoin exceeds $25,000. It would be great if we could get even a small fraction of it. The good news is that it's not too difficult to obtain our very own Bitcoin. In fact, one can mine Bitcoin from the comfort of their own home, and that's precisely what I'm going to show you. In this video, our focus will be on mining Bitcoin continuously for a week using two distinct methods. Then, we'll compare the profits generated by each method. So let's begin. For those who are unfamiliar with Bitcoin, it's a form of digital currency that can be obtained through a process called mining. This involves using specialized computers to solve complex mathematical problems, with miners being rewarded with Bitcoin for their efforts. These mining machines have a distinct appearance that differs from the standard computers we use and be quite costly to buy, particularly in the current situation where demand for Bitcoin mining is high. If you're an individual with limited funds, you might be wondering how to begin mining Bitcoin. In this video, I'll be experimenting with two methods to see which one gives a better result. The first method is called cloud mining. Essentially, this involves downloading software into your computer, which allows it to share any unused CPU and GPU power via a network. I'll be using a service called HoneyMiner from HoneyMiner.com, which mines various types of cryptocurrency and converts them into Bitcoin for your account. I've set up an additional computer and installed the necessary software, and will now allow it to operate continuously for 7 consecutive days. The second method I plan to test is known as liquidity mining, which operates in the following manner. Cryptocurrencies are commonly exchanged on centralized platforms such as Binance, Coinbase, and Kraken. These exchanges are controlled by companies and have a central entity governing them. However, there exist decentralized exchanges like DeFi Coin, which are not owned by any company but instead are open source projects in which anyone can participate. One approach to achieving this is by offering liquidity, which means depositing money without any payment for a specific period. Doing so will earn rewards incrementally, and that's essentially what liquidity mining entails. The platform I intend to use for this is known as Pool by Cake, which I believe is reputable, well branded, and has significant potential. Signing up for an account is a straightforward process. We also need to know about DFI. DFI is essentially a type of cryptocurrency that operates on the DeFi chain, a decentralized exchange that I mentioned earlier. Over the past few months, its value has increased significantly, with one DFI currently worth over $2. Just like Bitcoin, you can buy and sell DFI. After registering, you can participate in liquidity mining by selecting a pair such as Bitcoin and DFI and providing both currencies to receive rewards in return. This process yields a high return as can be seen from the data provided. Currently, the annual return on this investment is nearly percent, but as more people participate, this percentage is likely to decrease gradually. Therefore, if you want to maximize your profits, it's recommended that you act quickly. In my case, I have $50 worth of Bitcoin and $50 worth of DFI in my balance, and I'll now add liquidity by following a simple setup process. Once we've added our funds to the pool, we can withdraw them at any time, and we can also monitor the rewards in Bitcoin and DFI that we receive every 12 to 24 hours. Hours. These rewards will appear in our balances. However, for the time being, we'll allow the investment to run for the next 7 days, and I'll give you an update every day. On the second day of our cloud mining venture, we accumulated 1,161 Satoshis. Satoshi is the smaller unit of Bitcoin, so in total, this amounts to around 37 cents. However, not all of this is profit since we received a bonus worth 32 cents for signing up. Therefore, our total profit for day 2 of cloud mining is only 5 cents if we exclude the cost of electricity. It's possible that we could increase our earnings by getting the second graphics card to work, which has been detected by HoneyMiner. However, despite our efforts, we've been unable to start mining with it, even after reinstalling the software and updating the drivers. We've now contacted HoneyMiner support team for assistance. In the meantime, we can still continue with liquidity mining. Through liquidity mining, we've earned approximately 0.06447 DFI, which is equivalent to around 15 cents. This is already a good return, considering that we don't need to pay for electricity or use a computer, and we can keep 100% of the profits. We also received some rewards in Bitcoin, but the amount is still very low and hasn't yet been reflected in our balance. Therefore, we should continue with the mining process and see how our earnings progress in the next few days. On the third day of cloud mining, we earned 41 cents, resulting in a profit of 9 cents, even though we are only mining with one graphics card. Unfortunately, we have not received any assistance from Honey Miner support team despite our attempts to contact them, so there is not much we can do except wait. In contrast, liquidity mining is doing quite well. We've accumulated 
simulated 0.41889 DFI, which is equivalent to around $1.03, and all of it is profit since we don't have any costs associated with it. Although our Bitcoin rewards haven't appeared in our balance yet, I'm confident that we'll see them tomorrow or soon. We should continue with the mining process and capitalize on our earnings. On the fourth day, we encountered a setback. Unfortunately, Honey Miner appears to have stopped mining, and the number of Satoshis have remained stagnant since yesterday. I'm unsure why this has occurred, as I've attempted to restart my computer and reinstall Honey Miner, but nothing has worked. The only change that has occurred is that the price has risen to 43 cents, but this is simply due to the increase in Bitcoin's value. Even after taking electricity costs into account, we've only made around 11 cents in profit, which likely means that our mining activity is not profitable at all. To update on the liquidity mining, we can see that Bitcoin rewards have finally appeared, and we now have 0.006 Bitcoin and 0.61 DFI, which adds up to $1.60. This is a great outcome for just a few days of mining. Typically, I would reinvest these rewards back into the liquidity mining to compound the interest, but for the purpose of this challenge, I'll leave them as it is to accurately track our earnings. One important point to note is that when you add or withdraw funds from the liquidity pool, it's important to make sure that the price stability is good, as indicated by the green area on the decentralized exchange. If price stability is poor, it's best to wait until it stabilizes before making any moves. Do your own research and assess your own risks. Now let's continue with the mining process. On day 5, the cloud mining with Honey Miner is still not working, and we're stuck at around 40 cents. The mining appears to be happening according to the logs, but it's not reflected in the software. We we may have already lost around $2 due to electricity costs, but luckily, we still have the liquidity mining method, which is doing well. We currently have around 0.006 Bitcoin and 0.81 in DFI, which amounts to a total of approximately $2.04. On day 6, I have decided to abandon the cloud mining method using Honey Miner since it hasn't been working properly. The number of Satoshis is still stuck at 1,253, which is the same as the past few days, and there has been no progress. Therefore, I'm going to shut down the computer and stop the mining process. My focus is on liquidity mining, which is proving to be quite rewarding. We can continue to receive rewards in Bitcoin and DFI, and our total earnings have now reached around $2.46. This is impressive considering we began with a small investment that almost anyone can afford. Let's see how much more we can earn in the final 24 hours, and I'll share the final results with you. On day 7, I'm sharing the final results, and if you've been following along, you know that I'm not a fan of cloud mining. Our earnings were only around 40 cents, and most of that was due to the sign-up bonus. Considering the high electricity costs, I believe we likely had negative profits. Personally, I don't think the software is good, and I can't recommend it. In contrast, liquidity mining was a breeze to set up and doesn't require me to pay for electricity. It's 100% profit, and if we look at the earnings, we have 0.606 Bitcoin and 1.2 in DFI, which totals $2.95. Now we could send the DFI to an exchange, convert it to Bitcoin, and sell it. However, I prefer to reinvest my rewards back into liquidity mining to earn compound interest. Additionally, I also stake a portion of my rewards, which yields a 9 percentage per year. That's about it. That's how you can mine Bitcoin at home without using super expensive mining machines. Thank you for watching, and I hope it was helpful. If it was, let me know in the comments. Stay tuned for the next video, and have a great day. See you soon.